What is up guys? I hope you all are doing amazing as always. Today, it's gonna be a little bit different. Today I'm doing a story time, a uh, personal experience type video. Usually on this channel I give advice how to overcome this, how to overcome that. Today I'm gonna be talking about how shuffle dancing helped me learn how to let go. What I mean by that is how shuffle dancing or doing the running man helped me to start to let go of these thoughts and these feelings that weren't serving me anymore. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So shuffle dancing is basically when you do the quote unquote running man. You start in a certain position, you have to get the footwork just right. So it looks like you are running in place. And how this helped me was I first saw this shuffle tutorial by this really, really cool girl. And then I started thinking, well, this isn't for me. I don't dance. It was a label that I put on myself. It was the narrative. That's why I'm the anxious self-help guru. But eventually I actually got around to learning it. And once I learned it and got the footwork down, I just like would not stop. I really loved to shuffle dance. And now what I do is I practice in the morning. But how this helped me was when you're shuffle dancing, you have to be there. What I mean by that is you have to be completely in the moment. There's nothing else that you can be thinking about, nothing else that you can be thinking about doing because your mind has to control all these intricacies of the dance. There is a pretty viral video of a Chinese rural family talking about this. So the husband went through a severe car accident and after that he was suffering from depression. But his wife, a shuffle dancer, started to teach him how to shuffle dance. And over time he started feeling better and better. He says that when he's doing it, his mind is like, completely clear. He started to feel good again. Now he says that his life consists of two things and those things are farm work and shuffle dance. It's a very very sweet video but what he's saying is absolutely right. When you're shuffle dancing there's nothing else that you could be doing. There's nothing else that you can be thinking of. You're just there, you're completely in the moment and you have no time to run these programs, run these negative emotions that aren't serving you. I'm not saying that you can't make space for whatever you're feeling, but I'm saying that it's very, 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 very helpful to have something that you do just to get all those neuroses, to get all those feelings and give them a space to express themselves. Because everyone needs expression. Everyone needs expression. The problem is when our creative expression becomes really our creative aesthetic. I was noticing that when I try to produce music, I was only letting out the parts of myself that I thought were acceptable, that would fit my aesthetic, what I have on my SoundCloud. But you need to realize Dancing is something so primordial, it's something so primal that you just want to get up and move, moving around and moving to the beat because that's really what our ancestors did. Not saying that it was like NBA caveman on the beat, but it's a very like primal instinct to make music, to get up and just start moving around. And that's what shuffle dancing did for me. I highly recommend all you guys to learn how to shuffle. It has benefited me so many great ways and I feel as though there's more space for me in this world. Whenever I have a thought that's not serving me, I can just stare it straight in the face and say, you know what, that's completely fine for you to think that. It's completely fine for this thought to be here. I'm gonna go move on with my life. I'm gonna go do something else and uh, maybe I'll shuffle dance, maybe I'll moonwalk. <laughs> but once you kind of get the running man down, the other variations just become like an add-on like a, a boulder rolling down a cliff. At first, it's gonna be pretty hard, but once you get that momentum going, it's over, it's over. So I wanna thank all of you for watching, and I highly encourage every single one of you to learn how to do dancing or other physical activity, maybe gymnastics that just allows you to go all out, music, something else that just brings out instincts, and you can't suppress anything, you can't filter out anything just because it's not gonna fit what people expect or even what you expect and you might surprise yourself thank you all for watching and have a great one